Welcome my dear viewers to today's lesson. Our today's lesson is about multiplication of two digit numbers by two di digit numbers which is in grade 4 using CBC approach. Now, for instance, if you are given a number like 28 multiplied by 14. This 28 is two digits because it has 8 and 2. This 14 it is two digits. It has 4 and 1. So, when you want to multiply the two digits, we regroup them or we split them. What helps us to regroup them is the place value. If you look at number 28, there are two place values. That is, ones and tens. How many tens are in 28? There are two tens. So, two times ten is twenty. And our ones, which is eight. Such as that, when you add 20 plus 8, you get 28. So when you are grouping or splitting, you split in such a way that your work has powers of 10. That is 20 here. And then once. By this, we are simplifying our multiplication because it is easier to multiply using powers of 10s. Then, let's re regroup our second number, which also has two digits. That is digit 4 and 1. So in terms of place value, this 4 is 1, this 1 is 10. So how many 10s are in this number? It's only 1. And that's why when we're grouping, we have 10 plus 4. So 10 plus 4 becomes 14. Once you are done with, with the group, regrouping or splitting of the numbers, of the digits in this number, now we come now into multiplication. When you are multiplying, you pick the first number here. And make sure that you multiply with everything in this other side. So on the left, once you pick a number here or a digit here, you make sure you multiply everything on this side on the right. So let's begin with 20 to multiply everything on this side. So to begin, we begin with 20 times 10. When you are multiplying with powers of 10, it's easy. Because you know 10 times 10 is 100, so 20 times 10 is 200. Because 2 times this 1 is 2. And then there are two zeros. 1, 2, you put them there. It becomes 200. Now, we are still multiplying using 20 on this side to finish everything here. So 20 times 4 is what? 2 times 4 is 8. Then our zero is there. We put it there. So 20 times 4 is 80. Make sure also when you are arranging your answers, you arrange them in such a way that you are there to the ideal of place value. That is, ones and a ones, tens and a tens, a hundreds and a hundreds, and so forth. So we are done with 20. 20 as we have used it to multiply everything here. Now we are picking our second part of the number that we've just split here, which is 8. 8 times 10, it's 80. So 8 times this 1, it's 8. And our 0, I push it there. That is 80. Again, we say 8 times 4. Remember, we are picking a digit to multiply everything in the other side. So 8 times 4, it's 32. After that now, we add according to place value. We begin with 1s. 0 plus 0, it's a 0. Plus a 0, a 0. Plus 2, it's 2. Then 0 plus 8, it's 8. 8 plus 8 is 16. 16 plus 3, it's 19. So we write 9, we carry 1. 1 plus 2, it's 3. Nothing else here to add, so we just record our 3. And our answer is 392. For those who are finding it to be a difficult in arranging, I have an option for you. The option, the same, same regrouping, but the difference is just the arrangement using a table to simplify our multiplication. So, let's proceed. We use the same question, but now you will tablet it using a table. So, the same number, that is 28, multiplied by 14. 
when are you grouping remember are you grouping we are grouping according to place value so we count to, to number 28 the digits are 2 8 and 2 so we we'll group them according to powers of 10 or place value which is 20 plus 8 multiplied by 10 plus 4 but this time around now we tablet them or we put them we present the numbers now using a table so on this side we put these numbers here and here we arrange these numbers there so here we put our 20 taking the first position then 8 taking our second position and we separate using a line like that these ones we arrange them 10 taking the first position and 4 taking the second position like that these ones you arrange them vertically these ones you arrange them horizontally like that so 20 times 10 is 200 20 times 4 it's 80 we are done with 20 20 we have multiplied everything up there now we go to 8 8 times 10 it's 80 and 8 times 4 it's 32 once we are done now we add our first answer was 200 followed by 80 when you put them together we get 0 plus 0 is a 0 and 0 plus 8 is a 8 and then we have our 2 our third answer which is 80 we add it 0 plus 0 is a 0 8 plus 8 is 16 we write 6 we carry 1 1 plus 2 is 3 we proceed we are not finished we add that 2 the last answer there we also add it so 0 plus 2 is a 2 it's a 2 and 6 plus 3 it's a 9 then our 3 has nothing there so we are still getting the same answer which is 392 that is the same answer but different way of representing this so you can either use the first method or the second one depending on which one is easier for you i hope that you have enjoyed our lesson and continue subscribing and watching our good stuff for you bye bye let's meet next time